Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to take out the Elden Beast after patch because of course when they did update the game, they did fix one of the cheese methods for the first phase. So today I'm going to be showing you a new way to take out that boss so that you can do this efficiently and be able to do this stress free. So let's get into this. What you want to do is mark down the exact location that I just did on the map. Once you have done that, you will then want to head northeast. As you continue along the path, you will eventually arrive at a camp. You'll want to take out a few of the enemies that are here because you will then want to pave a way through so that you can then pick up the necessary item that we do need in order to do the exploit slash glitch. The enemies here are pretty decent, yet for the most part, you can dodge them or just simply grab the items that you want. So what we need to do is open up the chest that is located west north. When we do open up the chest, we are going to then receive a shield. Now that we have acquired that item, let's head over to Hero's Grave, which is located right here. This area should be familiar because there is a boss right here. And from this location, you can go around, then go along this path, go underneath the bridge, and then take the elevator down. Once you have done so, you can then go forward towards the west. As you are heading down, you will notice that there is going to be this enemy that's going to roll up on you. So go to the right side and dodge it. You will need Margit's Shackle, so just as a fair warning, make sure that you acquire that. That can be picked up by patches. So once the chariot has gone up, you can then drop down below. As you do drop down, you will want to avoid the lizards or just you know, initiate some sort of combat so that you can take them out, use your magic, use a sword, use whatever you can, just try to take them out. And as you do reach the ending here, you can then use the shackle. Then from there, take out the lizards and wait just a few seconds. The reason why is when I did use the shackle, it initiated a mechanic within this level, which will then teleport one of the chariots to the bottom of this hill and they will end up crashing together like so even though i did not show it there they, they did crash right there and so this is what the shackle can do and you can then pick up both of those items easily without any trouble so what we need to do is head to the elden throne activate the lost grace or it should be already activated and you want to then go to the ashes of war and you then want to equip the Holy Ground. And I will say that if you do not have the Ashes of War for your Lost Grace, you can simply head to the Round Table and then add the Ashes of War. We can then use Sapuku afterwards. And then afterwards, make sure that you mix a flask with the Crimson World Tier because you will need that. So then let's use Sapuku Ashes of War. We are going to activate Holy Ground. And then let's use the Whirl Flask. Then let's go forward, activate it again. And then let's go forward and chill here. I'm going to open up my menu. And when I do, you will notice that on the right side, this is going to pop up that I have a lot of lightning, a lot of uh, holy fire magic negation. So from there, let's check it again. And I still have it. Let's interact with the door, and let's see what happens when the boss tries to attack us. As you can tell, I still have the high magic and holy ground negation. And there we go. We can then take him out. Now, do not let him grab you, because if he grabs you like so, this is going to be bad news. This is the only way that you can mess up this glitch, is when there is actual physical contact like so. I'm just going to show you the prime example here of what not to do. And yeah, that is going to be the biggest problem with all of it. So right there, as you can tell, I jumped backwards, dodged it, and now I'm just going to simply attack again. Just always watch out for the grab attacks, and then from there you can take them out. When it does come to the you know, next boss, just rinse and repeat the same steps. Make sure that there's no way that the boss can pick you up. As far as I'm concerned, I do not think the Elden Beast has that sort of mechanic where it can lift you up and throw you around. 
I may be wrong on that. Let me know what you guys think. I I really I haven't experienced it. So, but yeah, for the most part, all you have to do is just use the same techniques, attack and attack and dodge. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think down below. If you are not subscribed, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and uh, join our Discord if you like. So, there you go, and hey, hope you guys have a great day out there, and I'll see you all on the next video.